Sounds like a lot of flavor. It's got flavor. Let's jump into it. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Avery at T-Review at 2. Welcome to my channel where I do reviews, tutorials, how-tos, hauls, and unboxings. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing from Adagio Tees. Let's jump into it. The thing that's pretty much on the top, and one of the things that kind of initiated this order was the uh, Teaster Tea. And so what they did on the Adagio Tees website is they did like an Easter egg hunt in the form of giving you a clue or a hint about a tea and then having you try to find that tea and go to the page of that tea and boom, you would get an egg. And after finding three eggs, you would get the Teaster tea for free with I believe a purchase of $39 or more. And so of course that's easy to do at Adagio Teas. They have a lot of great teas. And so I ended up doing over 50, I believe, to get the free shipping or whatnot. But yeah, so Teaster tea. This is a Teaster marshmallow tea. It only comes around you know, during Easter. You know, Adagio likes to do that, you know, like the, Brigadoon tea around, you know, leap year or the full moon tea. And I do think that's really neat that Adagio does certain teas around specific seasons or holidays or full moons and things like that. It's really neat. And we're going to jump into a review of this tea. I'll, I'll, actually, the review of this tea will probably go up before the unboxing. So check out the link to that. You may have already seen it or yeah. Anyway, so yeah, this one says, take one peep at this festive herbal tea and you'll be hopping with joy. Teaster marshmallow tea blends the flavors of your favorite Easter treats in adorable shaped sprinkles. A great caffeine free delight to share with even the littlest of tea drinkers. Oh yeah, so it's green rooibos, apple, sprinkles, natural flavor, marigold, and apricot. All right, let's see here. First thing we got is a white eternal spring. It is springtime. You know what? I need to go put my, need to put my pictures up. Hold on. Speaking of spring, let's put up these paintings my children did. My youngest <laughs> and my oldest. Spring is here. <laughs> Can you tell who's a little bit more wild than the other one right now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, back to the tea. White eternal spring, and this is a white tea with rose hips, pineapple pieces, mango pieces, cranberries, rose petals, apple pieces, hibiscus, blueberries, natural mango flavor, and natural pineapple flavor. A spring fruity tea. This might, this just sounds good. It definitely sounds good. And up next, we've got white Ayurvedic chai. This one intrigued me because, you know, usually with chai, you're going to have a black tea base or maybe even a rooibos base, maybe a pu'er base even. But white tea, I don't think I've ever had a white tea chai. So you've got white tea, ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, lemongrass, coconut, cloves, natural spicy cinnamon flavor, black peppercorn, natural ginger flavor, and pineapple pieces. This one sounds like it is going to be spicy and a little sweet maybe. Definitely gonna be interesting. You know, I'm gonna do a review on this one for sure. Let's get the price pulled up on everything. The White Eternal Spring Sample, which, yeah, these are sample, this is a sample size of 0.4 ounces. It was $2. The White Ayurvedic Chai Sample was $3, and that is 0.8 ounces of that one. And, but yeah, Teaster Tea is three ounces, and it was free with an order of $39 or more. All right, now let's get back into the unboxing here. It's like a, well not unicorn, I'm gonna say like a unicorn. Like a, uh, oh, what is that word? You know what I'm talking about, the instrument. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's not a unicorn. I have to look it up, I have, hold on. This, sorry, this is not tea related. We're gonna make, I'm gonna edit a lot of this. Instrument that folds with air, folds in and out. Accordion. That's what this is. I don't know why this is reminding me of an accordion. Okay, anyway, let's get back into this. And what we have here is the community week of April 12th through April 18th. The community is a unique place where Adagio patrons from all around the world can sit down together over the same cup of tea on the same day. Now this is another really neat thing that Adagio does. You know, besides of course the seasonal teas, the full moon teas, different things like that, this community, I've you know, seen on Jackie Allen's channel, or definitely check her out, um, that she, you know, did the reviews on the teas, went along with them and everything like that. The Tea Leaf Project that Stephanie did as well. It was really neat. And yeah, I'm going to be sipping along with some of uh, my fellow Adagio tea drinkers. So this is going to be neat. I don't know what exactly is in here. I'm going to wait until April the 12th to, uh, what well, says, yeah, open on April 12th and join us at adagio.com slash community. 
So, I'm looking forward to that. And next up we have Discover Matcha. You know, it's been a while since I've had any Adagio Tea's matcha. I think I've only had really like their regular matcha and I believe maybe their peach matcha. And so this is going to give me a variety of matchas here. It looks like they have, let's see how many, there's 16 sticks in here. So on the side of the box it says 10 times the antioxidants of ordinary tea. Add 500 ml a bottle and it says add to 500 ml bottle of water and shake well. So that's pretty much the instructions on how they say to use these. Of course, you can use them like a traditional matcha or whatnot, or shake it up, anything like that. And pretty much on the packaging, it says the same thing. 10 times the antioxidants of ordinary tea and add to 500 ml bottle of water and shake well. So yeah, we've got two peach, <laughs> a couple of ones on the ground. I don't know, we got two black and I have a blueberry. And two sweet matcha. I'm gonna stand each one of these up. <laughs> All right, there we go. Next step, let's see what we have here. Oh, got a sample, a uh, peach oolong, which is nice. Got a couple of tins, and the first one on top was free. I just pretty much gave them my birthday, I believe, or birthday month, and they gave me a Libra blend which is a black tea, rose petals, strawberry pieces, cocoa nibs, strawberry flavor, chocolate flavor, and cream flavor. Hmm, sounds like a lot of flavor. It's got flavor. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, we'll zoom in, of course, on the side. Hmm, smells chocolatey. And strawberry, like chocolate covered. Strawberry. Black tea, this, oh, that smells. Good. Slide that back in there. So yeah, just happy birthday Libra. It's not my birthday or anything. And Libra, you pretty much know what month it is. September or maybe some October or something, I believe, or maybe August. But yeah, so yeah, Libra sample was free. And then another tin that I actually bought from them, the N7 sample tin. I was like, hey, that looks neat. What is this tea? And let's give it a smell. Oh, that smells fruity. Definitely, it looks like a black tea. And you know, I forget what kind of tea this is. Let's click on it and see, because it doesn't say it on the tin, but I really want the, look at that, that's a nice tin. That's like the N7, one of the logos from the games. And so it says a sweet and smooth blend of mango, peach tea with hints of vanilla and cream and a surprising tingle of peppercorns. A favorite of all in-school graduates. That sounds great. So yeah, the, <laughs> that's why I got this. Because it sounds great and it's Mass Effect related. So yeah, one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. It's $5, did I say that? Yeah, $5 for a sample tin. Congratulations on passing certain points marks and things like that. And yeah. And small thing before we jump into the tumbler is a teaspoon. Yes, I already have a teaspoon, but I don't have an Adagio Tea's teaspoon. So yes, yeah, a stainless steel metal, very nice size. You know, not bending. I'm sure if I wanted to really bend this, I could, but I'm not gonna try. But yeah, so a teaspoon, $5 added to the collection of teaspoons. When I'm making Adagio Tea's, I'll probably be using the Adagio teaspoon because I am a nerd like that. And <laughs> so why not? Let's bet now here and jump to the last thing here. It's going to be loud, so we're going to fast forward this part. The modernity. You know, Dodger Tees like to do that. Like, Dodger, Dodger Tees like, Dodger Tees likes to do that as well. The different words and add tea on them or tea this. A lot of tea puns with the Dodger Tee. Some I've never heard of. Some I'm like, okay, yeah, come on. But yeah, <laughs> some of them like, yeah, you got me. So modernity. I guess that's supposed to be like modern, modern tea, modern. Yeah, it is a portable tea infuser. So let's open it up. Looks like it comes with a sleeve. Got a removable lid, removable infuser, double wall, which retains heat or cool. Keeps warm for hours. Look at that, that just looks, that looks nice. It was like, this just looks really nice. I haven't had the best of luck with some tumblers. My last, as you see in the recent video I had, uh, tumbler that was sent to me that's a glass tumbler by Bamboo Brew. I ended up breaking that by having it travel in a bag with another um, container that smacked up against it, I guess, at the wrong spot. You can see more about that review. It's a very nice tumbler, but yeah, it broke. But so you can check out that video as well. It's not Dodger Tees, but it is a tumbler. So let's put this up. Modernity by Dodger Tees. Look at that sleeve. We can clip that on to the bag. Thin, somewhat kind of thick sleeve. 
I'm gonna get a good look at that. And that looks nice. And this is one you can open on either end. It's got the infuser down there, which is nice because you can have the tea infusing down there instead of, you know, up there at the top. It's usually how it is for a lot of teas. And if you're only gonna make a small amount, usually I'm gonna make a larger amount, pretty much fill this up. So placement, it's like, yeah, that's neat. But you know, I'm gonna have it filled up pretty much to the top. Do I eat this? Hit that infuser. Let's get a Mmm. It's got the rubber kind of seal right there. And at the top, we have like, of course, that inside like stainless steel looking area right there, kind of keep it sealed even more with the rubber on the outskirts of that. So it says place tea inside the infuser basket, attach infuser onto lid bottom, fill glass body with hot water, screw on lid, turn a unit upside down, infuse leaves to desired strength, flip upright and remove basket, travel far and wide with good tea. So yeah, that's gonna be something right here. We're gonna be doing that and doing that and flipping this and that and yeah. So, <laughs> all right, so this was 14 fluid ounces, $24 and just looks, Looks nice, doesn't it? Nice, good feel to it. We'll measure it out and everything and weigh it. Let's, okay, weight without anything in it, it's gonna be one pound, two ounces. About nine and a half inches as far as its length. Width of that, yeah, we'll say about two and a half. Bottom is gonna be the same, looks like. That is everything in the order here. Total price, everything, $51. Got a nice tumbler that I hope I don't break. Look at that. I'm just surprised I didn't just smash it right there over the counter. Let's put it back in here at least. Let's see how this slips back on. All right. That is it for the unboxing from Adagio Teas. Hope you all have an awesome day. Enjoy the cup of tea you've got. Try to stay healthy out there. Try to stay safe. Take care.